In the last video, we saw how the Fibonacci 60-digit clock is actually an electromagnetic wave of mathematical information, which contains mathematically encoded forms of all the fundamental forces of nature. In this episode, we will see what happens when the Fibonacci 60-digit clock or wave of information collapses into a perfect Pythagorean 90-degree hypotenuse triangle. To be honest, this video will get a little technical. All you really need to know is that the Fibonacci wave of information collapses into a triangular particle used to construct the universe. These geometric particles are mathematically compatible to atoms. I have to explain in greater detail how this happens for people who will want to know. So please follow along. It is very interesting, but do not be too worried if it gets a little complicated. To better understand this, we first have to look at what scientists call the building blocks of the physical universe. According to mainstream science, the universe is made up of atoms. But atoms are not the most fundamental units of creation. Atoms themselves consist of protons, neutrons and electrons. Electrons are negatively charged point particles and cannot be divided into smaller parts. Protons and neutrons, however, are made up of even smaller entities called quarks. So far, quarks appear to be fundamental and are not made up of even smaller parts. According to the standard model of physics, there are numerous types of quarks, but protons and neutrons are made up of three main quarks called up and down quarks. These quarks form a triangular bond of energy and are held together by strands called gluons. Gluons are the force carriers. In essence, according to science, the entire universe is made up of electrons, which are negatively charged point particles, and these triangular bonds of energy called protons and neutrons, which in turn are made up of quarks and gluons. I won't get too technical. I simply want to give you an overall impression of the fundamental building blocks of reality according to science. Now, going back to our Fibonacci 60-digit clock. In the last video, I showed you how this circle of information is actually a wave of mathematical information that has an intrinsic virtual electromagnetic energy encoded into it. In part 9 of this series, we saw that this Fibonacci 60-digit circle or wave of information can collapse into a perfect Pythagorean 90-degree hypotenuse triangle in which a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. The mathematical probability of this being random is too astronomical to comprehend. I propose that this Fibonacci hypotenuse triangle is the mathematical equivalent of what science calls a neutron. It has three nodes or endpoints which are mathematically compatible to the three quarks found in a neutron and it is being held together by these three strands of mathematical information which I link directly to the gluons or force carriers. In the scientific model, a neutron has two down quarks and one up quark. If you look at our Fibonacci 60-digit Pythagorean triangle, you will notice that it has two nodes or endpoints that terminate in a zero and one point that terminates in a five. These endpoints are my mathematical equivalent to the two down and one up quark. The numbers running between the nodes are the mathematical equivalent to the gluons or force carriers that hold the quarks in place. Now, in our last video, we saw that the Fibonacci 60-digit clock is actually a wave of coded mathematical electromagnetic information Therefore, once it collapses into this hypotenuse triangle or neutron, you must imagine that those strands or gluons are not strings of numbers, but rather three strands of virtual mathematical energy or electromagnetic waves, which terminate in the three endpoints, which science calls quarks. The neutron is neutral because it is still temporarily balanced. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the squares of the other two sides. In the form of the Fibonacci 60-digit circle or wave, all the forces were being held in a perfect equilibrium, and the Fibonacci wave has no electrical charge or mass. When the wave collapses into this Fibonacci hypotenuse triangle, 
it becomes the neutron, or primary particle, made up of these three strands of varying wavelengths which terminate in the three endpoints, or quarks. Neutrons have no charge, they are neutral, but they are also very unstable. In nature, you won't find neutrons existing on their own for very long. In the physical world, neutrons quickly decay through a process called beta decay, in which they emit an electron and become a positively charged proton with an orbiting electron, which we call an atom. These are the fundamental building blocks of the physical universe. Everything you see around you is made up of atoms. Atoms are made up of quarks, gluons and electrons. Science cannot show you what these electrons or quarks look like. They can only describe them using complex mathematical equations. Where did these atoms come from? According to the Big Bang, these atoms simply popped into existence out of thin air. Science does, however, acknowledge that atoms are not made up of tiny bits of physical matter, but are in fact only vibrating quantized packets of energy. I maintain that these atoms are not real physical entities, but are, in fact, only virtual representations of an underlying mathematical wave of encoded information. The universe is therefore not a physical entity floating in space, but is, in fact, a virtual construct being generated by these waves of information encoded into time. We see the universe as being physically real only because we are made up of those same atoms or same encoded waves of information. What science calls positive and negative charge are only mathematically encoded bits of information with a programmed or simulated energy. The Fibonacci 60-digit clock, which mathematically represents the underlying electromagnetic field, collapses into the Fibonacci 90-degree triangle. This is the mathematical equivalent of a neutron and is the primary particle used to construct the world we see around us. Because the Fibonacci clock is no longer a circular wave, it is no longer held in equilibrium. It now has a tiny virtual mass, but still no electrical charge. However, this virtual particle is extremely unstable and quickly beta decays into a proton that has a positive charge and an electron that has a negative charge to form the most basic atoms. When scientists study the early universe, they see that it is made up mostly of hydrogen atoms. A hydrogen atom is an atom that has only one proton and one electron with no neutron. Where did those atoms come from? They did not magically pop into existence out of thin air. They are, in fact, mathematically encoded building blocks created when the Fibonacci wave collapses into the Fibonacci particle. This collapse of the wave function is the basis of quantum mechanics and wave-particle duality. My mathematical model conforms perfectly with the scientific model. In the standard model of science, a neutron is made up of three quarks, two down and one up quark. These quarks are held together by gluons, which are strands of vibrating energy. In my model, these gluons are waves of mathematically encoded information. The neutron then decays into a proton and an electron. A proton has two up quarks and one down quark. This is what I imagine the mathematical equivalent of a proton to look like. Note how the endpoints terminate in two values of 5 and one value of 0. Those endpoints are my two up and one down quarks. To me, the electron is simply one of the connector points. Watch the earlier videos in this series to see how they connect. The fives in the Fibonacci. 60-digit clock are the points where the Fibonacci wave can combine with other waves to form larger geometrical structures. When the Fibonacci neutron decays into a proton, it releases one of these fives. The five becomes what we call negatively charged and the proton becomes positively charged. Remember, these are not really numbers. They are numbers we have used to decode the underlying wave of information. Hence, it is not literally a five circling a triangle of other numbers. It is a tiny bit of mathematical information encoded to represent negative energy. The proton is what we call positively charged and is far more massive than the electron. 
Note that, in this state, the triangle of information is no longer perfectly balanced, the square of the hypotenuse is no longer equal to the squares of the other two sides. This positively charged triangle could manifest in any triangular shape, and not as a 90-degree hypotenuse triangle. Electrical charge is simple programming, like the ones and zeros in a binary code where one is on and zero is off. Here we have a quanta of information programmed as being positive and a smaller quanta of information programmed as being negative. When scientists study the physical world, they find that larger or more complex atoms and molecules are formed through the combining of protons and neutrons and the exchange of electrons. In science, electrons are sort of the connecting points or linking points between atoms. In my mathematical model, the fives are my connecting points used to create larger, more complex geometric shapes. In the next video, I will show you how these triangular particles of information, or collapsed Fibonacci waves, are used to construct the larger, more complex objects we see around us. Basically, according to science, everything you see around you is made up of waves of energy in the form of atoms. I am saying that that energy is actually made up of waves of mathematically encoded information. The universe is a mathematical construct that did not simply pop into existence out of thin air. It is in fact an ingeniously super-intelligent mathematical creation. What does that really mean and how does that intelligent code originate? Click subscribe and keep following this fascinating journey to find out more. Incredibly, many modern-day scientists are now saying that the fundamental building blocks of reality may in fact be information and that the universe is computational. That is on par with what I am postulating. Click like and share these videos. Let more people contemplate this mathematical model of creation. It may be the key to unlocking our future. Go back and watch all the earlier videos in this series and see how all of this fits together and ties into the ancient spiritual teachings of our ancestors. Many of them believed the universe was created through waves of time. Don't forget that the Fibonacci 60-digit clock is a wave of time. If I'm right, this mathematical model of creation is a bridge between the spiritual and scientific views of our world. Try not to form any strong opinions about where all of this is going until you have the full story. See you soon with more truly unique insights into reality.